What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about Chief Keith. I always say that. Recently, he posted that picture. Uh, I did a video about it. A lot of blog sites did videos about it. But, you know, a lot of people been asking me about that still. Kind of seem like it kind of been covered up. And it do kind of feel like that, which is kind of like a good thing because we don't want to create a messy situation. But, you know, Chief Keith haven't been in Chicago in a long, long, long time. And recently he posted a picture of somebody with a bloody face with a caption of something like, I asked him to let him live and something like that. Kind of insinuated like somebody got caught lacking and maybe it was somebody, you know, who had a problem with Sosa because Sosa said let him live. A lot of people said that was Boss Top, you know. People got to research and doing their homework and kind of looked in Boss Top Instagram and seen the response in his Instagram. Some like, you know, everybody know you a hoe. You know, uh, some like that, you know, Vaughn and Smirk, the only ones or something like that, you know. So people felt like that was boss top. They didn't know if this was an old situation, if this was something new, uh, if this was fabricated, if boss top got in a fight or something like that. You know, we just seemed to picture somebody bloody. Uh, and a crazy part is Sosa hasn't been out here for a long time. So him, for him to just be posting pictures like that is kind of crazy. Makes it feel like it's an issue that's really going on right now that's behind the scenes. And a lot of people point to that song with Zoo uh, and Boss Top, you know. I recently had uh, Not So Too Much on the platform. He spoke about that song kind of irritating him. We seen the internet speak on shit about that song irritating him. Even Zoo responded. You know, in his defense, he said that wasn't a diss, you know. Like I say, no fighting this. I'm just bringing you the news. But, you know, I find that crazy that Chief Keith would, like, you know, post a subliminal, you know, to a guy like Boss Top, well-respected in his community. Now, you might not respect him, might call him what you want to call him, but the guy's respected in his community, you know. Um, the fact that Sosa kind of put that out for everybody to see. And remember, Sosa, like, a creator of a lot of this drill shit, so... He knew the blog sites was going to catch this and all kind of shit, you know. He put this on his front page, not in the story. He posts that on his Instagram, which kind of feel like, you know, it's something going on, you know. For Sosa to be going that route in a community that he from, you know, it got to be something strong, you know. A lot of people kept saying that they felt like Sosa had warrants, and that's why he didn't come back to Chicago. But I think, you know, I think that picture Sosa posted kind of, details a lot of things you know um subscribe to my youtube channel man i don't know what more to say i don't want to start no rumors but i wanted to share that with you because people keep asking me is it a problem with old block and chief keith um i'm not really sure because it's a lot of subliminal shit going on but from the look of it it kind of looked like it's an issue you know we haven't seen none of them guys back in Chicago in a while. You know, normally when you come out here, you post. Fredo was out here posting. He was on Madison everywhere. We haven't seen, like, pictures of, like, the Tatos and, like, ball outs and GBE Tarantinos and none of them guys out here recently, you know. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. That's why I want to ask y'all the question. Um, y'all seen that picture that Chief Keep posted. And you actually seen the response of Boss Top. Uh, in y'all opinion, what was that all about? Uh, I would love to know what y'all think. Leave a comment as the homeboy truth tell the street reporter. Blah, blah, blah.